I'm gonna be honest with y'all because my transparency is gonna help you whether you want to like it and admit it or not so this video is about my recent five day spiritual fast and listen if you are a believer in Christ I am going to share this good news with you in hopes that you take this information and that you apply it to your own life so that you can get even one step closer with God in your faith journey. So do not skip, don't fast forward, and please, for the love of everything holy, don't click off the video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Just Lisa Renee, all things entrepreneurship and faith, because again, in this home, and on this side of things, in this realm, we gonna serve Jesus, okay? So, I want to encourage you to do the same, and that's what this video is for. So stick with me for the next couple of minutes, and I'm going to share with you my experience on my recent five-day spiritual fast, and listen, it is going to blow your mind because it blew mine. So just to preface this conversation, when I walked into this fast, I had expectation. I had expectation that God was going to show me and clarify some things that I have been seeking answers to. And I actually did this before. This is not my first time doing a spiritual fast, but honestly, as I'm getting older, I'm recognizing the power that fasting along with prayer has. So it's something about starving your flesh is a, is a good way to say it. It's, it's something about doing that that shows your reverence to God. It shows your commitment. It shows your seriousness on the purpose of your fast. So for example, the purpose for my fast was to get clarity on the direction of my life. Like, you know what, God, am I doing what you want me to do in this season? Do I have people that are blocking, right, my progress? Do I have people that are blocking my blessings or slowing down the things that you have in store for me? So I want a clarity, like, you know what? I need, I need you to be like, I need to know for sure, for sure, if I am on the, on the path that you have set out for me. So that was the focus and the goal for my fast. And I, I, I say this because when you go into a fast, don't just go into it for the sake of going into it. Have a purpose, write it down, talk and pray about it with God so that you can make things clear. You can set clear expectations. God, I need answers on A, B, and C, okay? And in exchange, I'm going to starve my flesh, get into your word, Okay, and I'm going to get closer to you as close as I can be so that I can hear clearly. Fasting is about hearing, okay, clearly because when you're doing things of the flesh, so for me, it was eating. I did not eat <laughs> for five days. All I ate was fruit, which was the same fruit I would put in my smoothie. So I did a five day, I only ate uh, fruits and I only drank smoothies. Of just fruit, y'all. I mean, I added my sea moss in, and, you know, but that was all. I did not eat like food, food for five days. But for me, that has such a high regard because I love food. If y'all know me, I'm always cooking. I'm always eating. Julie's is always taco, 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 taco pasta. <laughs> like that is me every day of the week. So for me to starve my flesh of something that I love okay that i have like oh girl another taco oh maria me please for me to give that up consistently and consecutively like that has so much weight okay so i want you to think about what is something that you hold like near and dear to you it may be food it may be going somewhere it may be you know drinking sweet stuff and juices or i don't know whatever the case may be 
really think about, you know what, what would, what would really impact me <laughs> if I had to stop? And that is what you should fast from. You need to starve your flesh of what it wants, of what its desires are, so that you can substitute that for the desires of Christ. So that you can substitute that to get more into your Bible, into more of the word, okay? This is about supplementation and starvation. In order to supplement something of the spirit, you have to starve your flesh. So, I did five days of that, and I wanna get into some things that were revealed to me during this time period because again y'all this is not my first time doing this and every single time i set out to do a like a lengthy fast like this for me that's kind of lengthy to, every time i set out to do this it literally transforms my life i've literally i've never had an instance to where i'm like oh, okay that was a great fast oh, okay I'll, I'll do it again no each time oh my gosh it catapults me to a whole a whole new like sphere of just abundance y'all like mentally emotionally spiritually physically and that's what i'm gonna get into next so let's get into it if you're still sticking around with me at this point it's because something triggered you something triggered you to say you know what what she is saying is something that I need to attempt in my own life, okay? And I'm speaking to believers right now, even non-believers. Like, y'all, the moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you put him above, like above, above all, and you have such a high regard for him and you hold him in your heart, nobody can take that away from you. Once you do that consciously, your life will transform Okay, seriously, y'all. But listen, there is power in fasting. So I'm going to tell y'all a few things that happened. Within this, this five-day period, I lost 10 pounds, okay? Like, I lost, like, 10, 10 whole pounds. <laughs> for real, for real. It was the first time in years that I was under 180 pounds. I mean, I finally hit, like, the 170s. So for me, that was a huge milestone because I work out, I love working out, I love eating good and healthy. And some, I, I kind of get stuck at this, at this, you know, this plateau with my weight. And so when I did that, I was able to like just hit that goal much more easier for me. And it felt really good. I felt like I had a new body. I mean, y'all, when I tell you, them papaya seeds. And that papaya got your girl good and right. I definitely recommend 10 out of 10. <laughs> Start incorporating papaya and the papaya seeds into your smoothie. And you will see. The next thing was, y'all, I literally spoke in tongues. And I have not spoken in tongues in like, like a while. Like I don't even remember the last time I did. And so for me. To do that and to be so engulfed in the Holy Spirit, like within its presence, was like, it, it was like going into another dimension. It, it was the best experience that I've had in so long. And it just felt so good. Like, ah, oh, it just felt so amazing. I, I just, I can't even describe it, y'all. But, I was only really able to do that because of just really taking the time to reintroduce our relationship with one another. Okay, like really get to know God outside of the capacity that I've known him. I want to learn more about you. I wanna be like best friends. Like I wanna do everything together. <laughs> it was that, y'all. And so, boom, that happened, right? And then I had some questions. Remember I told you I had some questions. Well, my questions started getting answered. Not in a like literal sense, but I'd have a question and something would appear or a conversation would happen or I would see something or hear something that I would be like, oh my gosh, oh, that's the answer. Okay, boom, two and two. I was able to hear God's voice more clearly. And that is so crucial, y'all. Like you have to hear 
God's voice because we have a lot of distractions just on the day to day. We have to just take time to just be still and be one with God, right? Because sometimes we have friendships and businessships and you know relationships and being a mom and being a business owner and da 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 da. -da, -da. We have all these outside things that take up places and spaces. And if God is not, you know, engulfing you, then those things will start to take up spaces and places that should be reserved for him, right? So when you are starving your flesh of talking to people, of being on social media, of, you know, being quiet, right? Your attitude starts to shape differently. You become more patient. You start to imitate God. If you talk to someone, you kind of start to take on their characteristics, right? That's just natural human behavior. That's how we're wired. So it makes sense that the, the biggest relationship you should have is with God. Because why? Human behavior and human psychology mimics, right, who we are in close proximity to. I know you've heard that before, the, what, the top five people in your circle you can kind of really <laughs> determine how you're going to be or how you're going to end up is based off of who you are in close proximity to. So if you are in such close proximity to God, it makes no other sense but to start to imitate his behaviors. I mean, that's just how we're wired. So listen, I want to encourage you that if you do nothing else with the next couple months we have of this year, is to sit down and write out different ways that you can starve your flesh and how you want to substitute those things with the Holy Spirit. So I don't want to eat for five days. In those five days, anytime I get hungry, I want to read my Bible. I want to do Bible study. Right? You follow me? I like to drink alcohol. For example, if that's what you're saying, well, I, you know, for me it's alcohol or partying or, you know, getting coffee every day. Whatever your thing is, starve yourself of it and replace it with things of the spirit. It may be prayer. I mean, you should be praying as you're fasting anyway, but it may be like extra prayer. Like anytime you want a coffee in the morning, you replace that with prayer. Anytime you want to have a glass of wine, you replace that with Bible study. Whatever it is that you are starving yourself of, you need to be very intentional about how you're going to supplement those things. Because the enemy will, he, he, he'll come to distract and confuse you. So you have to fight back. You have to be strapped with the arm of God. That means in all facets, every way possible. And this is going to help you become disciplined in your prayer life. It's going to help you become disciplined with your study of the word. It'll help you become disciplined about creating time for God. Just like you create time for every other relationship you got going on in your life. And by doing so, I promise y'all, you will see such transformation in your life you will you will be mind blown you will just start to feel better you'll start to just glow you'll start to radiate and that is nothing but the spirit that is nothing but god nobody gave that to you and nobody can take that away period so listen, i know this is a little long the video but it's for a purpose because I know that if you truly stuck around to watch this whole thing, or you may have even saved or shared it with someone that you feel could benefit from hearing my experience, man, it was just meant to be. <laughs> it was meant to be. So do me a favor. You're gonna wanna definitely subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment on your thoughts and feelings of today's topic. And give the video a thumbs up. I mean, come on now, help the algorithm. <laughs> so listen, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much, y'all. And I'm looking forward to hearing about y'all's faith journey and your next fast and your next this and your next that all in the name of Jesus. I'll see y'all next time. Be easy.